What's up legions in today's video we're going to give you guys a breakdown of what the Lenovo Legion Go space is going to look like this is running on the Lenovo Legion Go and this is for the Twitch stream this is not our video but it's not on YouTube and we thought it would be a good way to showcase what this looks like on YouTube so we're going to link the Twitch channel in the description if you guys want to see the whole live stream. But yeah, I just want to showcase this one off. I think Lenovo Legion Space is pretty incredible. And this is just going to highlight some of the features of the Lenovo Legion Space. So again, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Here, which is kind of the actual center of it. This is where you kind of do everything where you want to go to your platforms. These are some recommended games they have here. Uh, these might be a little loud, by the way. This is kind of like the main hub for things. So it's where you see a lot of deals for games if you want to pick some up to play on here. Uh, you can also get to your library settings. This is like the main page, basically, to get everywhere else in the in the UI here. And then, if you want to go into the second page, so one note about this top right button here, you can press this three times. The first time pulls up the left menu, like this. If you toggle it again, it closes it. Then you pull it again, and it's the right menu. And the right menu is where you get all your controls for resolution, TDP, uh, refresh rate, things like that, essentially. But if I go back over into that menu here, we have, I think, downloads here. Yep, downloads. That was already on here when I got it. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I think you have media here. I'm going to touch because it's a little easier to go through just for my taste. But I don't think I have any media downloaded on here, but you could look at some of that here. Settings where you get a lot of controls here. I, this is where I missed looking at the other day, by the way. There are a lot of controls in the settings for you. Like if you want to use Bluetooth. I think you could probably use like a, a Legion mouse or something with this if you wanted to or a keyboard and just... I saw somebody who was using it as a workstation basically for the day, so you could use it like that if you wanted to. I have not tried it yet. Uh, display should show me the controls I have. Now, you can control it here, but I recommend doing it through this menu because this is a lot easier just to go through and change some of the settings there. One also other big note, in addition to this being a pre-production model, this software space is changing constantly. In fact, there was an update yesterday that changed it a lot from uh the past week and so they're constantly updating it so you might see some weird language issues and things but they're tweaking it constantly so keep that in mind <laughs> i love seeing all the partner anniversaries in chat that's so funny any questions or anything on the software as you go through this and there's you know there's this space uh you can swap this stuff out you can see my little sd card here finally registered it's actually not used but not many gigs for uh downloading games on that right now <laughs> unfortunately uh Customize this is where you can change your lighting effects. Again, you can do this through the software too. Uh, I'll show that really quickly. Can you guys see it okay, by the way? Give me to zoom in. How's, how's it look? Obviously, you can actually see the bottom right too. I think you can see it pretty clearly on the camera, but I'll zoom in a little bit here maybe. Get the focus right. Look at that. Way crispier than we had before, huh? Are you running at 1200 p 60 hertz? Yes, it is at 1200. Can you see that? Kind of. Again, if I switch over to this one. We are at 1200. Look at that. See, I love I can show this like right from the screen now. 1260 hertz. You can change it right here, the refresh rate as well as the lighting effect. Uh, for example, if I change, um, I'll show this on the other camera so you guys can see a little bit uh, of the lighting. You can save some some different options here. I think this one's static, for example, with the white. Uh, or maybe, no, yeah, I think it's white. This one's RGB, I believe. I think these are both RGB. There's different cycles. So, or you can just turn it off if you want to. So I don't know how much you care about the lighting. I think mine was even on half the time to our last stream, but you can tweak it all right there if you want to. Are the controllers always wireless, even while docked? That is actually a good question. Uh, I'll take this. One of the things I wanted to check on, that reminds me, uh, one thing I need to tell you guys is we're doing an AMA with a product manager, hopefully this Thursday on Community. And I'll, I'll share the link with you guys in Discord and on the stream and everything when it happens. Because I've seen a lot of questions about this device. I think maybe like more than anything else. And I've tried to answer the most that I can, but I don't know everything since I work across a lot of different projects. And I'm also a new dad and just had a baby and, and not getting a lot of sleep. So <laughs> my time is limited. But the idea is to set up an AMA so you guys can answer stuff, get stuff answered from the product managers themselves. Stay tuned. So that'd be a great question to ask during that AMA. Uh, it's very saturated here. It is very saturated. Can you change to 120 hertz? Uh, you can do 144. 60, 144 are right from the screen here. I wonder if my capture card... Okay, yeah, flipped around. So, I I'm gonna have a lot of notes for this stream. Uh, another one is that because I'm running this out of my USB-C into a capture card, 
When I swap the resolution and refresh rate around, the capture you see in the bottom right might freak out a little bit. That just means I have to reset the card basically in my stream PC. So bear with me for that piece as well. Could you just turn off Wi-Fi and see if the controllers still work? I can do that for you if you want. Do, 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 do right there. Just thinking about it. <laughs> and one sec. I need to switch my display stuff here as well. Okay, so let's try plugging. What do you guys want to see first, actually? So let me show you the the library. Library. Over. I'm still learning this software, so give me a second here. <laughs> this is a brand new software that we have. Actually, I think I go home and then I go to the library. There we go. So you got recently played there and solar all games. Oh, Solar Ash is really cool, by the way. That's one that's on Game Pass that I just downloaded. It's been very fun so far. I do have League, yeah. <laughs> League is kind of a meme install. I mostly did that so we could see how the FPS mode works. I actually tried it out last night and it was very awkward, but I think you can make it work if you wanted to in a pinch. We could also just connect like a mouse too, I guess. So just show everything in Legion Space. I uh, I okay, I guess I haven't showed the right hand menu. Uh let me zoom in for you guys a little bit here so you can see. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I'm glad I unplugged this camera. Okay, so Legion Space, the right hand side is kind of like your quick menu action stuff. Uh, you have, you've seen me controlling Bluetooth and Wi Fi already, but you have your brightness right here. Uh, that's the Windows thing. If you want to go up and down with that, you have your sound for your speakers. You also have two volume buttons up here. Uh, I have the auto focus on, but yeah, two volume buttons right there. If you prefer to do it that way, that's usually what I do. You have your resolution quick swap, so you can literally just click one of those buttons or, or use the controller uh, and hit one of those to swap around as you like. Side note, I do recommend doing that before going into a game. Uh, you probably don't want to swap stuff around in the middle of a game. That might lead to some awkward stuff happening. Same thing for refresh rate. You can just hit that button and just pop into the higher refresh rate. I've been doing this mostly, like 1920-144 has been pretty good. Uh, lighting effects are right there. I think we did talk through some of those. Console key mapping, if you unplug this, I believe that's when this kicks on. If you go into FPS mode, which just take those off there, and then there's a little toggle. Um, let me try to focus on this the best I can. Apologies for the shake, and it's kind of dark. There's a little toggle right here. Uh, hopefully you can kind of see that reflecting there. Just hit FPS right there, and that pops into FPS mode. And you get a little on-screen display too when that happens, so. Uh, but then, if you go back into the menu here, then you have your FPS mode mapping right here. So you can have like profiles basically for what you want them to be. And I think you control that in the settings. Like if we pop back over here uh, in controller, I wanna say. Again, still learning this software, so bear with me here. Uh, button mapping profile, yeah, yeah. So you can actually set your different profiles here for what you want those presets to be, I believe. Yep, look at that, you got all the controls right there. I've, I've actually seen this, that's very cool. So basically, if you have a couple different games you wanna play FPS mode in, then you can swap between those profiles quickly. Because one thing I will say is, is playing with FPS mode is pretty unique. And uh, like the, moving the mouse is actually very simple. You can even see it's moving right there without the little stand. Uh, what's tricky to get used to is using abilities and things. Uh, yeah, because moving your character is just a joystick, right? Moving your mouse to aim is just this. It's all the other stuff that gets a little bit tricky to learn. So now I'm also not a controller player, so I don't know a lot of the default keybinds for games, but this lets you change a lot of that stuff, which is pretty cool. Adjustable DPI for the sensor is good, yes. And that's one thing, I, I, for me, it's a very quick default DPI, but I also play on like 400 DPI usually, so. Playing Apex on roller, we actually did play Apex on Thursday. I could do that again if you guys want me to. Also, one note, if you do plug the controllers back in, just make sure that you actually, uh, hang on, I'm still learning how to do this. <laughs> there we go. Turn the FPS mode off when you go back in this mode. That's important. I realized that after testing it a bit. And I'll pull this back out really quickly. There we go. Looking better. Okay, I think I touched most of the stuff in this right-hand menu. Let me see. Uh, pull it back out of here really quick. Okay, it's controlling the controller again. There we go. So, okay, the second one has your performance, which I think you can see. So it has your battery in the middle. Uh, left and right controllers, as well as your system monitor. Now you do also have system monitor in the top left. 
Uh, this software changed a little bit since I think even if you go look back at Thursday's stream, it looked a little bit different with the overlay, but you do have, let me zoom in here a little bit. Uh, something I know a lot of enthusiasts will appreciate is the performance right here. And you have different options. So you have turn it off if you don't want anything. Simple, I think it's just FPS. Uh, normal has your CPU and GPU, FPS and battery stats. And then all has your RAM and VRAM and fan and uh, Radeon stats on there too. So there's a lot of options for you overlay there. And I think they're still tweaking that piece, but I, the same stats were there on Thursday that just looked a little bit different. I think it's a cleaner look to it now, from what I've seen. Can't see, yeah, I can also show you, if I plug this back in, this is kind of why I had this set up here today. Hopefully this will look decent. Yeah, it's still flipping around. My cam link is not liking uh, when I change resolutions on this thing. <laughs> Let me uh, change the input mode on my capture card. Try this really quick. Okay. Is it blurry? Well, it's just an effect right there. You can see I can focus this around. It's just focusing on the left side of the screen right now with how I have set things. If that makes sense. Let me try a reboot. Um, it's my capture card specifically though. So it's it's not actually the Steam Deck or it's, <laughs> the Legion Go is having issues. I was, there was an option in the capture card for Steam Deck. That's why I was looking at that. So let me apply this change here. Oh, maybe, perhaps. Can you change the number of the TDP? There's a custom mode as well now. This is actually a change. So I, again, I think they're making tweaks here, but there is a custom option here. This was not here when I looked the other day and I hope you guys can kind of see that the slider between five and 30. <clears throat> yep, exactly. And you go into custom mode, that's custom mode right there. Uh, they also, again, this changed a little bit since Thursday, because when I use this on Thursday, there are actual numbers for throw mode. Now you have the slider to go up and down from these different ranges. And again, this may change, but this is the current version of it that I've seen. Custom mode changes stuff, yes. Um, let me keep, I'm gonna try to get my external display to show the right orientation, hopefully. Custom, TDP, default. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to show that because I think it's pretty clear on the main screen anyway, but it'd be nice if it would cooperate. Yes, uh, one thing with space is this is constantly changing all the way up until the day you get it in your hands. Because they can keep updating the software all the way, like basically forever. Um, so while, you know, the components have to get set at one part and the design and everything, software is consistently changing. Do you have a setting for color and saturation in Legion Space? That is a good question. Let's take a look. I mean, you can go into direct settings, of course, for Windows, but I imagine probably in settings, I think I'm already in settings, that's why. Yep. Display right here. Uh, I don't think we have, so it's just resolution stuff right here. But, of course, you have the actual menu behind you as well. If you want to go into the actual window settings too, you can do that through all this stuff too. So you got some options there. Okay. Still learning how this all works, but yeah, it seems like the top left button is your dedicated space button, and then your right menu is kind of like your quick actions through spaces, if that makes sense. Space, I keep saying spaces. <laughs> 